All right, welcome to day two of the three day no alcohol challenge. How did you go yesterday and last night? Did you wake up this morning still alcohol free? If so, congratulations, I acknowledge you. I'm so proud of you and happy for you that you're on this journey. So a lot of what people say to me is that, oh, I'm so worried about how I'm gonna to explain to friends or family that I'm not drinking. And some people feel a lot of shame and embarrassment around this because the matrix of society has got us convinced that drinking is just normal, right? It's just something that we do. So how do we navigate social situations, whether it's with our friends, family, colleagues, our bosses, clients, who are all encouraging us to drink all the time? So here's the thing, here's the most important thing. The way in which you tell people that you're alcohol free or not drinking is so much more important than the words you actually say. So I'm gonna give you two scenarios here, okay? So scenario one, someone says, hey, can I get you a drink? And you say, oh no, I'm not drinking at the moment. I can't drink right now. They're like, oh, why, why? What, do you, what do you mean? Oh, just, yeah, oh, I can't drink. I'm doing this three day challenge and no, no, I can't do it. Well, if you present it like that, then of course that person is then gonna to try to change your mind. And you're also pretty much convincing yourself that you should change your mind as well. So that person might be more inclined to say, come on, it's my birthday, just have one. Come on, it's Friday night, you'll be okay. You're fine, you don't drink that much, you're all right, just have one, come on, we'll be all right. And so your friend or your colleague or whoever that is, is now creating this idea that you are depriving yourself of something fun and pleasurable by not drinking. And you're convincing yourself that you're depriving yourself of something fun and joyful by not drinking because of the way that you have expressed to your friends or family or colleagues that you're not drinking. Because you came at it like all dark and negative, like, oh, I shouldn't, oh, I can't, I shouldn't drink, I'm doing this challenge, oh, I can't wait till this, till this is over when I can drink again. Because you're bringing that energy, people are gonna encourage you to drink and you're gonna encourage yourself to drink. Instead, let's do version two here, okay? Version two, someone says, hey, can I get you a drink? And you say, ah, no, I'm good actually. I'll just grab a soda water, please. And they say, what do you mean? What do you mean you're not drinking? Like, like it's Friday night. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm gonna get drunk on this soda water tonight. And you make a little joke about it. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? It's my birthday. Let's, let's, let's do shots or let's go out to dinner. Let's have a glass of wine. I'm like, yeah, 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 you have it. You go right ahead, but I'm just going, I'm just gonna order some soda water tonight. I'm taking a little break. And you see how that energy is so much more light and positive and confident. You can make fun of yourself a little bit. And what you'll realize and what 20,000 people who've done my programs now have realized is that people don't even care that you're not drinking. We think that people are judging us. We're thinking that people think that we're like raging alcoholics and like completely broken human beings if we're choosing not to drink alcohol and it's preposterous. So if we can get that mentality out of our brain and we can now celebrate the fact that we're choosing to be alcohol free, not in a, I don't drink, I'm so cool kind of way, but in a, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm just gonna have soda water. Grab me a water ice and a piece of lime. That'd be fun. Now, when people see you having fun and being light and confident being alcohol free, they may encourage you just a little bit, but they'll drop it. Eventually they'll drop it. And not only will they drop it, but they'll start to think, man, I wish I had that kind of self-discipline. I gotta go alcohol free, I'm pushing it a bit too much. Or they might have this respect or admiration for you. So the energy that you bring to how you explain that you're alcohol free is so much more important than the words that come out of your mouth. Remember, you're fun, you're lighthearted. No, I'm water, it'd be great. Yeah, soda water, that's all. I'm gonna drink you under the table with this soda water, my friend. Be playful with it, be a little cheeky even. Have fun. Nobody can pressure you into doing something that you don't wanna do at that point. But if you're going, oh no, I can't, I shouldn't, then of course that pressure's still gonna come, okay? So remember, this works not only at parties, in a bar, at restaurants, it's with your husband or your wife. Just be lighthearted and fun about it, okay? The way you say it, so much more important than the words you actually say. So that's it really for how to socialize without drinking. Just do that, bring that light energy and you'll be surprised at how people drop it really, really quickly.